this is what I see every morning. I come down to Decatur Dam. There's about 40, maybe 50 turkey vultures circling around everywhere. They fly so low to where you can see bellies and they faces. Get it down. This is what they did down here. They didn't mess the dam up. From over beyond those weeds over there, there's a concrete slab that goes into that wall right there. From there, all the way across the dam. It is what you see. Big boulders. You can't even fish that side. No. You fish the cut over there. That's a hundred and fifty dollar ticket. And ain't no telling what else they're gonna tell you, charge you with. Probably trespassing. Might even get you on tampering, even though you ain't touch nothing. Who knows? This is Makeup County. And all along that shoreline over there, that's all you see is big boulders. All the way down. Big rock pile right there. There's a pipe. Right there. Don't know what it's for, but it's there. And we're going down towards the train bridge. And that's where the rocks end, right at the train bridge. But then you look on the Decatur side. And from the train bridge down this way, there's nothing but big boulders. And then they study dumping rock up top what I'm thinking it is, is they trying to keep us from down here from fishing which that is, that's no problem with me but don't just sit down here and dump a bunch of rocks trying to keep everybody from getting down here because the true fishermen they'll be the ones that come down and climb down the rocks and whatnot just to fish down here. But me? No. I did a couple days since they dumped the rock up there. But I'm not gonna do it, people. I'm not going to do it.
about five, six years ago, there used to be a bunch of trees down here, all along the bank, all back down there, everywhere, all behind me, there used to be trees. Right around the end of 2012, beginning of 2013, they come down here. And they do all this construction down to the dam trying to keep the Asian carp out of here. But you can't keep them out of here. For the simple fact is, this is the Sagamon River. The Sagamon River connects to the Illinois River. The Illinois River connects to the Mississippi. So, guess what? You're gonna have Asian carp. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. But they come down here and they spend not one million, but two million dollars, people. Two million dollars of the taxpayers' money to put big boulders down here and if you look above the dam, you can see that bar and a bunch of little bars in between, all the way down. That's a gate, people. They put a gate up to the dam trying to keep the Asian carp out of the lake. You can't keep them out of here. You cannot. This is a river that's connected to the Illinois River. That the Illinois River connects to the Mississippi River. And guess what? You're gonna have them. So the only thing I can tell people is to deal with it. Cope with it just like we did the common carp. The common carp is an invasive species. They're not supposed to be here. They're supposed to be over in Britain and all that, all those overseas somewhere. But we dealt with them. You have places where now they got bow fishing for common carp. You got people that sit out here and bow fish for them. You got people that go out there and they snag for them, even though snagging is illegal in certain parts of the country but people do it anyway do they get caught yes and no but you got to deal with the people the Asian carp are here to stay just deal with it. everybody Everybody say, the conservation people say, catch them and throw them on the bank. Why would you catch them and throw them on the bank? Then you got rotten dead fish that's stinking up the whole bank. Who wants to smell that? I know I don't. I know you don't. So, if you snag one, let it go. What harm is it going to do? Besides eat all the plankton up from the buffalo and the crappie and the bluegill and the catfish and the spoonbills and everything they eat plankton. We didn't bring them over here. There's a farmer down in Missouri. He had a farm pine. He wanted to kill all, get all the algae and stuff out of there. Come the flood of 93, guess what? You have Asian carp all over. They're trying to keep them out of the Great Lakes. I don't know if that's gonna happen. It's working so far for the electro bars that they have under the water for the lock. But that only works so much because it pulses electricity. And who's not to say that every time it pulses, you have maybe one, two, 10, 20 fish that get past that every time it pulses. Who's, who's not to say they're in the Great Lakes? But we don't know. They never say anything about it. So, just.
just gonna have to deal with it, people. Just deal with it. This is Jimmy King Senior signing off. Tight lines. Good fishing to you.